Hey, what's going on, people? Gear with Jack Rand, and today I'm going to give you my iPhone 8 first impressions. Um, I was going to do an unboxing of this video, but I tried to record it, and I basically just had to scrap it, and you can't, you know, of course you can't go back and do an unboxing. So I'll show you, you know, basically what comes in the box. We'll talk about it, and I'll just give you my first thoughts and impressions. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the iPhone 8 64 gigabyte space gray model. Uh, with Verizon. Um, this is the box that came in. So what you get here is your uh, Apple stickers. Um, so, yeah, I do have the phone that's your ear pod here. It comes in a nice little case. Uh, you, you know how they, they are. Um, you know, little headphones, earbuds, very nice. Charging brick is right here, just a standard charging brick. It does come with a lightning charging cable, but I don't know what I did with it. Um, it comes with so many. It's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember what I did with it. So, anyway, that's besides the point. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Apple. What are these? Oh, these are Apple troll stickers. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and pluck that file to the side. So, So put that to the side there. And then here we go. Here is the phone. Now, of course, it's in a case at the moment. But outside of the case, let me see if I'll take it out. I'll take it out the case for a brief second here. Um, you know, just kind of give you guys that dramatic effect so you can kind of feel it. So you take a look at it. Very nice. Like this phone here is the truth, man, for real. This phone right here. Feels very nice in the hand. Um, definitely has some good, you know, proportion to it. It's definitely, it's perfect size, man. It's definitely perfect size. 4.7 inch display, um, 768 by 1366. Power buttons on the right side. Um, then you got your SIM card tray. Left side, you have volume rocker space. So you got your silent switch. Very nice. Down there, um, the virtual home button with touch ID. Uh, lightning port at the back. I mean, lightning port at the bottom. Um, uh, speaker grill. On the back, we have your 12 megapixel camera with dual flash. Um, and then up at the top, you have your ear, no, ear speech that is also acts as another speaker. And then you have your 7 megapixel uh, front facing camera. So, very nice, guys. Glass on the front and the back. It does work with my Samsung wireless charger. And it just feels good in the hands. Kind of makes you. You know, besides the different placement, kind of makes you feel like you are holding the iPhone 4S in a way. Uh, perfect size for an iPhone, in my opinion. Um, some people may not agree with that, but hey, it is what it is. The iPhone 8, in my opinion, is definitely still worth the money and definitely still worth a look at in 2018, especially if you're not ready to adapt to what Apple calls the future. Um, now, another thing about the iPhone 8 is, well, it's processor. Now, as far as the iPhone 8 goes, it does not have um, an extraordinary amount of, of RAM. And, you know, that's fine for most people. It has two gigs of RAM, which it runs perfectly. It has an A by, uh, A11 Apple Bionic chip, uh, Touch ID second generation, which is actually fast. All I have to do is push the virtual home button, and I'm in. Like, I don't even have to hold it. Like, with the SE, so take a look at the SE. I have to push the home button. Okay, so actually it did register, but I, and like it's not just as simple. I just push it, but I have to hold it, and then it opens. Take this. I just push it, and I'm in. Oh, it didn't work that time. Let's do it again. It's instantaneous, like it's just there. So, Touch ID on the iPhone 8, that second generation is very, very fast. So, um, overall, guys, this is running iOS 12.1.3, um, released as of the making of this video. Um, and this phone is just fast, it's fluent, it's smooth. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna make a whole other video on why I came back to Apple. And I see why people choose Apple over Android over so many reasons. I've been using a whole lot of phones. I used the 16 for a while. I used the Note 9 for quite a while. Note 9 is a 
wonderful phone. Um, you know, I've just been playing around with all these different phones. So I have a good idea of what's, what's considered quality, uh, you know, or whatever the case may be. So definitely, guys, this phone here has been working fabulous. iPhone 8 definitely worth a look at in 2019. Um, it's smooth. It runs good. It's just it's it's an overall good contender. I wanted the red color, but they got a red case. What can you do? So overall, guys, first impression of the iPhone 8, definitely worth looking at it in 2019. Very fast. Touch ID is amazing. Uh, feels perfect in the hands to me, in my personal opinion. Running the latest software, and you know, as Apple proved with the iPhone 5S, they will support their phones, their older models, for up to five years. So, yeah, this came out in 2017. I can probably keep this phone for another four years without it being too much of an issue. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. So we'll see We'll see how things go. And this is on the Verizon network. Um, so far, I've, LTE connectivity is, is solid. You know, it's kind of what you expect from Verizon. But, hey, it is what it is. So... I'll keep you guys up to date on how my experience is. You know, we'll definitely keep uh, we'll keep it pushing. So if this is helpful informative anyway, leave a like on the video, comment down below what you guys think. Do you have the iPhone 8? Are you interested in getting the 8? You know, what are your, what are your thoughts? And of course, you can leave any other questions, comments, or concerns that you want about this or anything else. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Share, tell your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.